So with the latest patch to the first descendant, a few things have changed. Like for instance, a nerf to a popular farming spot. But at the same time, buffs have been added to that hard mod in regards to drop rates. In this video, I bring you the five best working XP, Kuiper and material farming spots after the latest patch. Now before we do go any further, to say a massive thank you for the great support I have had while covering this game, I am giving away Ultimate Descendants to you guys. And as you know, unlike some, my giveaways are actually legit. So I will pick one person on a weekly basis who supports what I do by liking and commenting on my videos. The more I see you, the more of a chance you have of winning. I will pick winners from the comments section and announce them on Sunday's video. Also guys, join my Discord link down below, let's build an amazing first descendant army. So with them basically nerfing one of the farming spots in this game, with the White Knight Gulch Fortress Outskirts farm uh, taking a hit, I feel we might actually see other nerfs to popular spots in the future. But today's video guys, I bring you 5 plus working farms that you do want to take advantage of as they're all working after the latest patch. Now I will say I tried and tested these farms on my bunny on hard mode with a semi decent build. But numbers I mentioned will take into account not everyone on their descendant can run as fast as bunny. So let's get into it guys and in no particular order. First up we have the Kuiper Mine mission on sterile land. Now this is a new addition to the farming family uh, and it is a great great farm. Now the reason this one is so good is the fact it's so so easy to do. Plus it's a mission where there's no limit on the actual enemy in regards to how they spawn. So the quicker you take them out the more that spawn in meaning the more you earn. Now me in a team of bunnies the best I could get in that 5 minute time of mark was around 12k Kuiper shards. But I have seen a couple of players hitting that 17k mark per run. Now I feel this isn't a realistic number for most players. Now if we do the maths with this one, let's say you average 12k per run of every 6 minutes, that's 2000 Kuiper shards per minute, which works out to be about 120,000 per hour. Now even if we do the maths here on 17k per run, which isn't likely, but it is possible for some players. 17k divided by 6 as it takes 6 minutes per run, uh, given you have to start the mission and run to the mission and take out a few enemies first, that's around 2834 per minute. Now over the course of an hour you will earn here, getting 17k per run, about 176,000 per hour. Which isn't bad at all because we ain't taking into account duplicate modules being dismantled here for even more Kuiper shards. So how this mission works is quite simple, you start the mission, you kill a few sets of ads, you activate the computer on that terminal and you have like 5 minutes of enemies that spawn in around that centre section. You don't play the objective here, you let that timer run down and the mission fails. But in doing this, you are killing that infinite amount of enemies that spawn in. Like I said, the quicker you kill them, the more that spawn in. And you just simply rinse and repeat this. Okay, so next up guys, we have the water cooling mission within the Moon Grey Basin area on White Knight Gulch. So this is a farm I'm still yet to see many, many people cover, which is really surprising to me because it is an incredible farm. You earn tons of XP, Kuiper shards and everything else. But it's also a farm where there's a time limit in place and the more enemies you kill, the more that spawn. So how this works is, you start the mission, you run to A, ignoring B completely, access the point, you run away and let the enemies capture it, you leave them enemies on said point, don't take them out, and then you'll have two lots of enemies constantly spawning in. Me and Bunny constantly running between them as a solo player, I can make easily 10k every about 4 minutes 20 seconds. And this is doing it solo. In a team where people stand on them enemy spawns, it will be even crazier. But going off what I can do solo, a bit of maths in regards to gains here. So because I can run it in let's say 4 minutes and earn 10k per run, there is 15 4 minute runs in 1 hour. So therefore guys you can earn upwards of 150,000 per hour doing this solo on Bunny. In a team I'm thinking you're going to earn at least a third on top of this. So probably around that 200k per hour mark quite easily in my opinion. And again this is without dismantling modules which we will earn in abundance here too. Ok so next up guys we have what in my opinion is the best farm this game has to offer. And it is the abandoned refinery unit mission within the Echo Swamp. So this one I originally posted and in my opinion still the best in regards to how much you can earn. 
Now, I was running this last night with another Bonnie and an Ajax, and I believe it, well, I believe it was an Ajax, it could have been someone else, I can't really remember, and we were running the entire mission in about 30 seconds, sometimes less than 30 seconds, and every single time, guys, I was earning upwards of 3,500 Kuiper Shards per run. It is a simple one to run, but to do it fast and efficiently, you do want to have a bunny here who can cover a wider area with her AOE skills. That's what makes this one quick. Without bunny though, it can be running easily about a minute. But the master of this one, let's check them out. So I can run this on bunny, let's say I get 3,500 every 30 seconds in a team because the mission is short and it's basically started as soon as it's finished that's easily around 7000 per minute to make this a little more realistic though because i know a few seconds may be lost in between starting and finishing the mission let's drop that number down to 3200 per run so 6400 per minute that's basically guys 384,000 per hour guys which on average is about as much as i personally feel i was doing last night easily on bunny but let's say you ain't bunny here and the run takes you a minute let's say you earn 3500 every minute that's 3500 times 60 which equals 210 thousand guys which is still a massive amount per hour to earn a really really good number and an easy spot to do and remember guys this is without dismantling those modules too okay so next up people we have a classic the anticipated ambush mission back on sterile land this one like i said is a classic but under my testing it still works actually great because it's so short and easy to run it's perfect for a team or even a solo player as I was doing this mission easily in under 30 seconds, most of the time getting about 1700 Kuiper Shards per run, which is great. So doing a mass with this one of 1700 per run in easily under 30 seconds, that's easily 3400 per minute. So within the hour keeping this momentum up, that's around 204,000 Kuiper Shards per hour, which is not bad at all. Now a quick little edit to this video as I come across this farm after I'd already made this video so I just re-edited it. Uh, there's a new farm that's been discovered which is by far the best farm in this game if running a team with Valbies. Now doing this solo on my bunny on a private lobby it's nowhere near the best but doing this in a team of Valbies the difference is unbelievable. It's this zone recon mission right here within the fortress region what we do here guys is a make sure it's on hard as well we start at the zone recon mission and uh, we take out the four points of a b c and d and then the boss spawns in now we leave the boss we don't take out the boss whatsoever but we take out the ads that spawn in and around the boss and it's a constant flow of enemies for about two and a half three minutes constant flow of them guys they spawn in indefinitely now the quicker you take them out the quicker they spawn in now doing this on a bunny, I mean it's okay but your gains ain't the best. Doing this with a team of Valbies where they can lay that water down on the floor, the enemies die as soon as they spawn in. So they're on a constant cycle of basically spawning in and dying. So the, the amount of XP you gain from this is unbelievable. Uh, the amount of Kuiper Shards you gain from this, uh, you'll see in this footage on the screen now. My mate was getting 22,600 per run. And it's taking three minutes per run. It's also getting just under 300,000 uh, gold, getting over 130,000 weapon proficiency. It's utterly unreal. Now, in regards to what you can earn in a team here, in a full team of Valbies or in a full team of people who can take them out just as quick, I mean, if we divide 22,000 to say 500 by three, because it's three minutes per run, that's 7,500 per minute. If you times that by 60, that's 450,000 Kuiper Shards per hour. The best I've seen so far, without a shadow of a doubt. And what's great about this is because we ain't taking out the boss as soon as it's failed, because it will fail. Uh, you just run out the area, and when I say run out the area, I mean just run about 10 foot away from the zone recon mission. Once you run back into it, you can instantly restart it and restart the farm cycle again. So you can do this over and over and over with no cooldown whatsoever. Utterly unbelievable. Take advantage of it while you can. Okay, so we're going to move on. And there are a couple of other Kuiper Shard farms I was going to showcase. But if I'm honest with you, they fall in comparison compared to the ones I've already mentioned. Now, if you know of others, do hit me up on my Discord link down below. I'll check them out. And if they're good, I will credit you directly. Now, let's move on to an insane XP farm. So this one I covered the other day but still works absolutely amazingly post-patch. 
Now a bunny or a Sharon is needed to start this void fragment mission, but if you're set to private playing on Ajax and you've got no team, if you run to this area anyway there's likely going to be someone here who can start it, allowing you to earn tons of XP. Now this void fragment mission is unreal, I personally can run it in under a minute solo, I could probably run it quicker now my build's a bit better, in a team it can be done in half of that time because there's two spawn points for enemies, if you just sit on the spawn points you'll destroy these enemies before they've had a chance to even move, but hey, if you do this solo you earn 21k per run, 21k xp per run, if you do this in a team that drops to 18k because there's shared xp but even still guys and maths here if you wanted to calculate it at worst you'll be earning over 1.2 million xp per hour if you can run this in under 15 seconds like that wild bunny range build you can rack up to 5 million xp per hour which is utterly unbelievable people so yes if you want to earn that xp this is definitely the place to go to now to end the mission guys I can confirm that the zone recon mission glitch still works. Now if you're unaware of what this is, uh, you won't earn thousands of Kuiper shards really quickly here, no XP, but what you can earn is whatever those zone recon mission bosses drop in quick succession. And some of these zone recon bosses can drop some very very vital materials. So how this works is quite simple. Pick any zone recon mission on the map, it doesn't matter which one it is. Do it on hard, do it on normal, it doesn't matter. Now using this glitch you'll be able to kill the boss over and over literally every 10 seconds. So head to any zone recon mission, start it up as you normally do, destroying the three containers. Once that boss spawns in, take him down to a one hit, or if you are confident you can one hit him, simply step away from the zone recon area until you get that mission failure notification on screen in that red text and red border. Wait until the time gets down to that zero mark, on the zero mark kill the boss. If you time this correctly, the zone recon boss will drop that loot, but you can simply just restart the zone recon mission instantly, repeating the exact process again, over and over and over again, infinite materials from the zone recon bosses. Real real cool. But there we have it guys, 5 plus working farms after the latest patch. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.